and I have food. Hi everyone, this is Fasma Tavi, 9 years old, grade 3. Ted went over the GS schools in our South Branch. I want to tell you a story about a life lesson we can learn from the, from the story of the late Lizzie Bear and the clever rabbit. The lesson is about the importance of hard work and how laziness is so bad. Once upon a time, there was a lazy bear that had a very big farm that's not planted. The bear was almost sleeping all the time. He didn't like work or getting up early. He just likes to sleep. On the other side, there was a poor little rabbit with his family. They were poor because the rabbit lost everything when he had a race with the tortoise. The rabbit wanted to plant the lazy bear's farm on condition. They share, they share the harvest. The lazy bear agreed and had a deal that the rabbit would take the lower part and the bear would take the upper one. The rabbit and his family worked hard on the farm and grew potatoes, carrots, and onions. When it was time for harvest, the rabbit took the lower part, which was useful and good to eat, and gave the lazy bear the upper part, which is not good to be eaten. The lazy bear went mad and said to the rabbit, Hey, you rat, you cheat. I'm so angry, but we had a deal. Listen carefully. Go and plant my farm again, but this time, give me the lower part, and you take the upper part. The rabbit agreed, but this time, he grew tomatoes, cucumber, and lettuce, and worked hard on the farm with his family. When the time for harvest came, he took the upper part, which is useful and good for eating, and gave the lazy bear the lower part, which is not good for eating. The lazy bear found that the rabbit tricked him again, and said to the rabbit, Hey, you rabbit, you tricked me again. I'm so angry, but what can I do? We got a deal. Listen carefully. Go and plant my farm once more, but this time, give me the upper one, and you take the upper and lower parts. And you take the middle one. The rabbit agreed, but still, he wanted to trick the bear and teach him a lesson not to be lazy. The rabbit thought and thought and finally decided to grow corn. He worked hard with his family on the farm. When it was time for harvest, the rabbit gave the lazy bear the upper and lower parts, which are not good for eating, and took the middle part that is good for the lazy bear went mad and said, Look, you checked me three times, but it was my fault, not yours. Now I got the lesson. I won't be lazy anymore. I'll get up early. I'll work hard. I will be active. I'll be hardworking. I'm not going to let anybody else plant my own farm. No more laziness. No more laziness. No more laziness. At the end of my speech, I just want to say that the lesson taught from the story is not only for the lazy bear, but it should be for all of us. We should all be hardworking, active, and learn that laziness doesn't pay. Thank you for your attention. Performed by Francis Otebi, supervised by teacher Ashraf Olegan and Kilani. Tabin with the GS schools, Nasa Awadi.